I won the Pokemon Fan 993 here back with more Pokemon TCG Online. I redeemed 10 more codes, and I'm getting 3 of Owen Skies packs, packs, 2 Sun and Moon Guardian Rising packs, 1 Dragonite coin, 1 Chilling Rain booster pack, 1 Steam Siege booster pack, 1 Sun and Moon booster pack, Tapu Coco, HP 110 Electric, Flying Flip, this is this attack does 20 damage to each of your opponent's Pokemon that opens Venus for this Revenge Pokemon, Electric Ball 100. And S Ice Q, HP 120, Water, Ice Bonus. Discard a Water Energy from your hand if you draw three cards. Headbutt Bounce, 100. Now that we're done with that, we're going to go to our collection. We're opening up a few packs, and then we're going to switch to Versus for a little while. And jokes on you, Edgy Man, to remember to put the, uh... <laughs> Edgy Man, turn my audio back on this time. Alright, so let's open one Sun and Moon pack. One, two, two new cards. Basic Ma Makuhita, HP 80, fighting, surprise attack 20, flip a coin if tails to the attack does nothing. Hollow Rare, stage 2 Croc Rock, HP 90, dark, knockoff 20, discard a random card for your opponent's hand, darkness fang 60. What's we got here? We got any chests? We do. Let's open one of them. I've kind of been, have been focused on this one. Five fully points and stage two fish sharp HP 110 steel slash 30. Steel slash 90 plus. If you're supposed to have to put them in a steel Pokemon that does 90 more damage for a total of 180. So with one vivid bullish pack. One. Two new cards. Stage 2 Hollow Rare, Rare Galvantula, HP 90. I, I forget that. No, it's called Reverse Hollow, my bad, not Hollow Rare. HP 90, Electric. Stun Needle, 20. Flip a coin of heads your opponent's edible one is now paralyzed. Check the pursuit 20 times. It has 20 damage for each damage counter on your opponent's active Pokemon. Stage 2 Vaporeon, HP 110, Water. Ability Torrential Awakening. This Pokemon has a memory castle so attached to water. Fire Pokemon in play, but your opponents have no abilities. Roar Beam, 70. So with two Rebel Clash packs. One. One new card. Um. Trainer item nugget. You play this card only if you drew it from your deck at the beginning of your turn. If you put it in your hand, draw three cards. But one more. One new card. Reverse Hollow Bear, Stage 2 Bear Skewda, HP 120, Water. Heck, 30, Spiral Chat, 130. Discard two energy, water cards from your hand. If you don't, that does nothing. Weird attack. Let's open three Evolving Skies. I should definitely have some new ones here. I haven't opened that many of them. One, two, three. Four, five, six. Seven new cards. Basic Wild Fae, HP 120, Psychic Single Strike, Mirror Pain, Put damage counters on the opponent's edge Pokemon equals the number of damage counters on one of your best Pokemon. Headbutt Bounce, 70. Basic Dweeble, HP 60, Grass, Ram 10, Sharp Claws, 10 plus, Flip a coin of heads, that does 30 more damage for a total of 40. Basic Nicket, Stage 2 Avalog, HP 150, Water, Frost Barrier, 80. During close extra, this Pokemon takes 30 less damage for attack every point, weakness and resistance. Hammer in, 140. Transport Rai Raihan. You can play this card if only, only if your if your Pokemon is not out during your opponent's last turn. This is basic energy if you just scrap out away your Pokemon. You can just search your deck for a card and put it in your hand and shuffle your deck. Reverse Hollow Basic Fletchling, HP 40. Carlos, Tailwind Draw. Draw a card. If you go second and it's your first turn, draw three more cards. Surprise attack, 20. Flip a coin of Tails, that does nothing. Stage 2 Gorgite, HP 120 Psychic, Pandemonium 60 times, for those top, top 6 cards of your deck, that does 6 damage for each Psychic Pokemon, Pokemon you find there, and shuffle those cards back into your deck and discard the other cards. Okay, so that could do a total, let's see, 6 times 60, that's, 6 times 6 is 24, so 240 damage max on that. One more, or two more. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6... 
isn't that on? Yeah, it's on one of the. It's on one of the packs, isn't it? Anyway, we'll get to that in a second. Basic Bergmite, Basic Cryonical, HP 90, Water, Element Chain. Those are the top six cards of your deck. Attach any number of basic energy cards you find there to your Pokemon any way you like. Shuffle their cards back to your deck. Icy Snow. That's actually a good water card if I put that in my water deck. Basic Zorua. Stay too Flappy, HP 90, Electric. Dynamo Dynamotor. Once you're going to be attack, basic electric energy card for just cut out one of your bench Pokemon. Electro Ball, 50. Stay too. Briombi, HP 70, Psychic, Tricky Step 30. You may move an energy from your opponents add to one of their bench Pokemon. Reverse Hollow Basic Pikachu, HP 60, Electric, Energizer. Attach this electric energy for your discard pile to this Pokemon. Electro Ball 30. Then we have Basic Sleeveyon V, HP 200, Psychic, Rapid Strike, Ability, Dream Gift. Once during your turn, you may search deck for an item card and put it in your hand. You shuffle your deck. If you use the ability, your turn ends. Magical Shock, 60. One more. This is the last one. Good end on a good note one. Plum and Skies are. One, two, three. Four. Stage two, Hypno. HP 110. Psychic. Hypnosis. Your post adds one is now asleep. Wake up slap 30 plus. Your opponent's adds a special by a special condition that does many more damage. Then it recovers from that special condition. So first turn, Hypnosis. Wake up slap next turn for a total of 120. Not bad. Trainer item, full face guard. The Pokemon this card is attached to has no ability that takes 20 less damage from your opponent's active Pokemon. Your opponent's Pokemon at this point weakness or this. That means it's as good, probably good as a hard charm, I think. Actually, I think that's better. Trainer item reverse hollow spirit mask. The Pokemon this card is attached to is in the spot of damage from attack and your opponent's knocked out. Your opponent discards a card from their hand. Then we have a nice looking art basic Drampa, HP 120, Dragon. Course crew punch 30, doesn't have any hands. Burke. Berserk, 70 plus. If your Pokemon has a damage counter on him, this attack does 90 more damage for a total of 160. Okay, what else we got here? Let's open two battle styles. I have a bunch of chill marines too. A lot of chill marines. One. Two new cards. Ooh, Corviknight V back. That's pretty good. I guess that Houndor was a good one, but. V Max, Corviknight V Max. HP 320, Steel. Ability, Luster Spy, route all damage to your opponent's abilities done to this Pokemon. G-Max Hurricane, 240. Your opponent's next to this Pokemon can't use G-Max Hurricane, so it's a one-shot deal. Kind of like, um, Zycon V, because it does more damage. Um, one more. One. One new card. Reverse Hollow Trainer Supporter Bruno, Single Strike. Shuffle your hand to your deck to draw four cards. If any of your Pokemon not out during your opponent's last turn, draw seven cards instead. Now let's open some two raids until I'm until I feel like stopping, I guess. <laughs> Nothing new there. Again. There's finally something new. Reverse Hollow Trader Support of Piona. HP or put three prize cards into your hand, then for each prize card you put in this way, put a prize card from your hand face down as a as a new prize card. One. Two new cards. Reverse Hollow Basic Ghastly, HP 50, Psychic, Sleep Pulse 10. Purple Coin of Heads, your opponent's Edge Pokemon is now asleep. Stage 3 Gengar, HP 130, Psychic, Ability, Last Gift. If Pokemon is knocked out by damage from your opponent's attack, from your opponent's Pokemon, search your deck for the two cards put from your hand, then shuffle your deck. Pain Burst, 10 plus, that does 40 damage for each time encounter on your opponent's after Pokemon. Does that really depend on how much damage it'll fully do depends on the Pokemon that's you, that being the, po the opposing Pokemon. Please, can't speak. One, two. Three new cards. Trainer support of Clara. Choose one or both. Put two Pokemon from your discard pile into your hand. Put two space energy cards from your discard pile into your hand. That's really good. Reverse Hollow Stage 2 Thwacky HP 100 Grass Rapid Strike. Knock off 30. Discard a random card from your opponent's hand. Basic Passimian HP 110 Fighting Rapid Strike. Throwing Coach. Your Rapid Strike Pokemon is attached to 30 more damage to your opponent's bench deep and bench Pokemon GX. 
for Pokemon Switch system. You can't apply more than one throwing coach ability at a time. Fling. This enters 20 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon. That'll apply weakness and resistance for bench Pokemon. Okay, so we got a couple good cards. Nothing too crazy there. Let's go to my trainer challenge. I think I still have to do a couple with electricity. Yeah, two. So let's go ahead, go ahead into Versus. And use our electric deck. My electric deck. Tired today. Ow. So a possible normal fire deck. Juan Rosas Rosas is calling the coin coin flip. You lost the coin flip, so you get to decide who goes first and second. Okay, so he's going first and I go second. Oh, I got both Laughing Mary from the first draw. And I got the blunt uh nur breeder nurturing card. Pretty good. And the Poke Kid. Even the letter to get me more energy cards. That's really good hand, actually. Okay. Says he's able, he puts card on him and Pokemon first, he's not allowed to attack. Now it's my turn. So I'm going to put an electric energy on Mary. Put another Mary from the bench. Play the Professor's letter to get two uh, basic energy electric energy cards from my deck from my deck and add them to my hand. Uh we're gonna use Thunder Wave. It failed, but if it would have got heads, it would have paralyzed it for one turn. Okay, she's no for a Fire Fang. Okay, so this might be a slight problem. Should deck for a card that I falls from one of your Pokemon, including, including Pokemon EX, and, and put on the Pokemon to evolve it. Well, he just won. Well, that's right, he has to keep putting energy on the door, doesn't he? Let's see what we can do about that. We're just putting energy on Mary. Well, Mary into Flappy. And then we're gonna play Pokey Kid real quick, and we're gonna actually grab um, Pinchurn from my deck, add to my hand, do that, and then I'm allowed to use Ram to do 20 damage on Charizard. I was going to say he might have automatically won, but he still needs more energy on his Charizard. Oh, come on. What cheap bull crap is that? Is that all he does? Is that all he's going to do? Stupidest frickin' deck, I swear to God. He won't be able to take Pinjurin down that easily, though. Put a watch energy on Pinjurin, and end my turn. That's all I can do. And we got to see he has another one, doesn't he? Wait, he's allowed to do that, and he's allowed to use continu the continuous ball. Okay, that I'm sorry if I didn't lose right there. That that's some high end bullshit. That is like a the most brainless part of thing I've ever seen. It's even more ridiculous than the freaking Leon Charizard thing. Oh my god. You guys can't not agree that's stupid as all hell. Continuous blaze ball, and that's allowed to just put. We're out here right back on and attack next turn. If you use that ability, your turn should end, is how that should work. I don't think they really think really hard when they make these cards. I don't think they... And because they're physical cards, they really can't nerf anything. They nerf it in the online game because the cards are data, but... Lost the coin flip against El Troll. El Troll? I'm guessing that's some kind of... Um... Okay, so I got... Uh, Mr. V off the bat, that's not bad. Unfortunately, that's the only Pokemon I have that I can put on... In play, so... Let's see what he does. Okay. Grass user, alright. Something I can probably deal with. Then I'm Pinchurin, play the Professor's Letter, grab more, two more energy cards from my deck, and into my hand. That's all I can do. Blot, 10 heal, 10 damage for this Pokemon. Okay, so nothing crazy there yet. He does attack, though. He has the ability. Okay. Should deck for the two. Uh, two what energy is real? Then put in your hand the shelf in your deck. So it's just, it's basically just like the professor's letter that I just played not that long ago. Wait, he. Beg pardon? Does he have a grass and water deck, or is he just. For two basic Pokemon or two basic energy cards, put them in your hand the shelf in your deck. I'm probably gonna choose two Pokemon if I had to guess. So I got energy cards in his hand.
Zoro and Wishu. So he has a very mixed deck. It could work. I mean, I've seen like four or five element decks, but I mean, he's just playing on making Wishu Washi just really doesn't seem powerful. I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say that's a terrible idea, but betting on one Pokemon. Really, I draw three cards and I didn't get a single new Pokemon. All right, let's play another Press Flare. This can help me thin out my deck and give me more energy cards in my hand. So. But you can't. You can have unlimited cards in your hand. Next turn, I'm gonna use Sparkling Ari, which is gonna do a hard play. Then it's gonna immediately knock out that Gospel. Give out Zoro and the Zoro Arc. Search for you the stage one Pokemon. Except Zoro gets this card called Zoro. Okay. Scar's hand draws seven cards. I'm not very comfortable only having one Pokemon. So basically, okay, so we just use that to get the Pokemon, the cards he got back from his graveyard. Or his, my bad, this card pile, you call it the graveyard, it really freaks out in this game. Alright. So now we're going to play Poke Kid. And we're going to grab, grab, let's grab, oh wow, he's actually not in my hand, okay, that works. We're going to grab Bolton V, put him on my bench. One electric energy against Viturin, Sparking Strike, that's it. I mean, his Pokemon are way too electricity, right? Yeah. If he puts his wishy washy up, he's not very smart. Yours that have pinch turn V in my deck in the first place. Uh, three energy for 120 is not bad, but the counter attack Kerr Zap is what's really good. Put Zoroark up, alright. Is he gonna put an energy on Zoroark? That's not very bright. He evolves a horsey into Cedra. What else is he gonna do? He's gonna put another energy on at least one of the Pokemon. I gotta know. I gotta imagine. Put some of that energy on him. He gets group power, which increases. Search deck for two basic energy cards. Everyone put in your hand. Play this. Hang on. Play this card. You may discard 500 cards from your hand. If you lose, you may also search three Pokemon. Okay, so he's, discard he's using all the effects. So two basic energy cards and three Pokemon with different types. Okay, so he's adding two cards to his hand. He's probably gonna grab a Kingdra from his deck if I had to guess. Shut up, phone. Kingdra, Zoro, and Eldegoss. Put. Jeez. He really is recycling. Although there is one problem with this strategy. He's playing cards like that, he's gonna run out of cards to draw. Put another Zoro on his bench. Probably gonna evolve Seed. No, we can't evolve Seed. Kingdra already evolved. Pokemon this turn. So put another energy on him. Not really helpful though. Because even with counter, even with that ass AP, because he gets his pretty dim more than he has. Play Hop again. Please tell me I'm going to have to drop a Pokemon to play. Oh my god, I didn't. <gasps> Alright, well. Alright. Can't say it's the first time I've seen that happen. Even the drawer didn't give me a card I needed. Let's go for Sparking Strike. So that guy's so hard. Something I can use? That, damn it, another electric energy card. I'm drawing every ev evolution Pokemon in my entire deck, but not what I need. Well, Kingdra into, or Cedra into Kingdra. Uh, when this Pokemon is not dealt by damage, but with the any amount of hmm. water energy, to do, okay, what's this do? So I can portray a card, be able to put your hand himself to your deck. He's definitely got a decent strategy going on, it's just that, um, like I said, the flaw with that is, is that a lot of it seems like a good portion of the Pokemon are water, which is not a good element to fight against my full electric attack. Which again, probably another card to let you draw five, seven more cards or something like that. Search that for evolution from a real point. Okay, so he's going to play that card. He's probably going to choose... Either Wishy Washy's uh, evolution, maybe, or maybe Zoro's evolution. The only Pokemon I could think of that he could play, that he could grab. Well, they at work. This dude's making it longer. Okay, so Frost Moth. He got that from Shining Fates. Another 
tired, you got wishy washy. I don't know why. Is he hoping to like counter me with something at some point? I have no idea. Sparking strike that gets rid of the robot. Grabbed Ambrose from my deck that I still don't have the damn illusion for. Put a good bit of king drop, I'm guessing. I thought it was going to. That'd be what's wish was, yep. Oh, I see. He's going for schooling shot, which is going to do a shit ton of damage because he's got more energy attached to him. Still relying on one card. It's not, like I said, it's not the smartest thing you could possibly do. That's what I said to my bolt and could probably knock it out during the next turn. One shot. I mean, yeah, he gets rid of my pincher, but assuming that even it even gets that far. Let's see. 60, 90, 120, 150, 180. See, that's gonna knock me out. No help from the heads today. Alright. Let's draw th two. Is it two cards? Two cards. Bolt Storm. 140. He barely survived that. Are you kidding me? He beat me with that kind of lame ass strategy. Damn it. I hate cards that increase damage depending on how many cards you have attached to them. I mean, yeah, I did the same thing, but it wasn't to that extent. Probably get one more match and buy the guess, maybe two, depending on uh, what happens here. I underscore town nilist. The nilist? Okay. Kind of YouTube name or page name or something like that. It's hard to say. So you're gonna call it? Come on, dude. get Toxel, but that's not really the greatest thing I can grab. I mean, Tight Jaw is pretty good, but it only does 10 damage. It's a side effect is the best thing about that. Hit done. You got Kartana. He basically sits Kai's part of Oh, come on. That's, that's bullcrap. Okay, so let me think. If I go for tight jaw, I can maybe paralyze him this turn. I think. Pokey kid, I guess. I mean, yeah, that's what I'm gonna have to do, I think. So let's grab Bolton B. Take a huge risk doing this, but now we have enough for tight jaw. And it paid off. He's paralyzed for one turn. Unless he managed to get rid of the the uh electric the um paralyzed condition. I thought he was going to knock me out early with that card. Like I said, Kartan's a bullcrap bull Pokemon name, which doesn't surprise me as a bullcrap card. Test a hard charm to it. It reduces damage by 20, I think. Yeah. Good news, my, my main aim isn't to go after Kartana anyway. Hop, how, draw three cards. My turn again. Now I'm going to do something that's going to use my energy of bolt. I'm going to play copycat. It allows me to still put cards in my deck, and I'm going to draw the same amount of cards that he has. Not bad. Stab Cuckoo on the bench. Kako, however you say it. Play Pokemon Let Trait Special Air to grab two more energy cards from my, from my deck and my hand. Tight jaw. I'm not going to do any damage, but it might. I paralyze him again. Wow. During my next turn, I could really screw them if I wanted to. Probably should, because they're the only one he has to play. Let's 
player shuffles their hand and okay. And draws a card for each of Okay, so we just basically just downsized our hand. Well there goes my idea, but whatever. I still drew a pretty good result out of that. See now the bang I wanna what I wanna do here, cause I could just do tight jaws at the end of time, but it's not really gonna do anything. If I draw energy on Bolton unless I draw one additional card, we'll marry. Um what's my best shot here? I should just go for Bird Keeper. Swap in. Play Mary nope, we got another Mary. Go for Bolt Storm. That's gonna knock him out even with the hard term attached. Pokemon Center waiting cool. And he gave up. Alright. Guess Gartana was his whole strategy. Is that enough to... Did I... complete my challenge? Did it happen while I wasn't even paying attention? Possibly. Nope, I got a... It's evolution thing. Let's try one more match. If it turns into a drawn out thing, I'll worry about it some other time. Or I'll uh, end the match, but... Hopefully it doesn't turn out like that. Basic GMX6193. Possibly it's just a steel deck. Probably is a steel deck considering he has a Metagross coin. I choose to go second, like I always do. Okay, so I got two starts. Let's let's start with Toxel. Put Mary on the bench. What's he gonna start with? Beldum. Okay, so it probably is a steel deck. Turn your price price cards face up. We still have to get me a look at some of the deck. I want to look at his price cards. I am. Oh, he's got Megros GX. That might be a nasty card. We're gonna let you on Toxel. Tight jaw. Pen damage, coin flip, yes, I paralyzed him. Should deck for a card that evolves your Pokemon put on the Pokemon. Okay, so he's gonna evolve Beldum and the and, uh, uh, Matang. Bullet punch, probably. Metal claw, 30 damage. My turn. We do a Chin Chow. Went handy. We're gonna watch your energy on Mary. Evolve Mary with the Flappy. For another tight jaw, 10 damage, coin flip, success. That Metagross CS in his uh, cards, so that's worrisome. Okay, 150, that's not great actually. Considering you have to rest next turn. Pokemon Center Lady, okay. Bullet punch. Not, not now. So. Probably should have waited that Pokemon Center until he had a better cart. Maybe he had a better setup there, but whatever. It'd be nice if I could draw what I need right now. Nope. Wishful thinking. Electric Energy on Flappy, Chin Chinchow, and Lantern Signal Beam. Does 40 damage, and he's now confused. Being now, if he flips a co if he tries to attack, he flips a coin at heads. His attack goes to his tails. His attack doesn't go through. Really? Alright, well that's the end of that, because that's just a one guy relying on one set of cards. Hey, I got my evolution thing now. So I didn't win a single damn match today. Nope, I did win one, but that was through, uh, uh, school of it. So I got 60 poke points, and whatever else I got from down here. Probably not anything else. Okay, so... Ooh, gotta do the fire one for the, for the free pack. Alright, that's gonna do it for this video. Thank everyone for watching. This is the Pokemon Fan 1993 signing off. I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, take care.